Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Shed and a very overdue part two of our Xbox Soft Mod video tutorial. Um, if you've missed part one, just click on the lower right hand corner, or if you're on a, a mobile device, just click one of the links in the description to view part one. Now, what we're going to cover in this episode here is how to actually put emulators and the like on your newly modded Microsoft Xbox. So remember to go to part one first, follow all the instructions on there to soft mod your Xbox, and off we go. So first thing you need is obviously an original Xbox. Second thing you need is one of these Ethernet crossover cables. They look exactly like this. Now you're going to probably need a very long one because you're going to need access to your modem router if you haven't got one in the same room as your xbox maybe pick yourself up a wi-fi repeater which will just send the signal to a little box uh, you'll see in one second so what you want to do is put one end of your ethernet cable into the back of the xbox so that end just there pops straight in there and you should hear a little click when it's engaged and it's nice and snug it won't wobble around and the other end, what I'm going to do is just take it around the back of the TV here. And what I've got plugged in is a Wi-Fi repeater. It's essentially, it's just uh, another router. Uh, so your router is probably be plugged into the wall. Um, just go and shove the end of the cable straight into there. Now that will give your Xbox um, the ability to talk to your computer which is key in this process so let me just pop this Xbox back okay and just shove the power button there we go now power is on and I'm ready to rumble so onto my PC now you're gonna need a few bits and pieces to be able to put your um, emulator files and your ROMs and whatnot onto the Xbox. So I'm going to guide you through that bit by bit. So let's open up Chrome. You can use Chrome, Explorer, whatever you want, Firefox. So we're just going to Google search FileZilla and this is an FTP client and this is the way your computer will be able to gain access to your bits and pieces on your Xbox. So I'm just going to download the Windows version. Okay so off it goes and it's downloading. You can see that in the bottom right hand corner, left hand corner of my Chrome window. It shouldn't take too long, it's not a big file size. You don't have to use FileZilla there are other FTPs, so that's done. I'm just going to open up the file. And install it. Um, ignore all the free crap it tries to make you install as well. You don't need any of that. Just follow the process to get this onto your computer hard drive. So bear with it. There we go, it didn't take too long. Okay, now this is FileZilla. And that's what it looks like. On the left hand side of your screen, you've got your file structure of your PC, and on the right hand side, you will have the file contents of your Xbox. So just get used to the screen for a while. Um, so I'm going to show you next how to actually get access to your Xbox. Now get a pen and paper and note down the IP address you can see on the right hand side of the screen there. So there you go, zoomed in. IP mine is 192.168.0.200. Get a pen and paper, yours will probably be different. Write it down, this is key. It is the address your computer will look to uh, for 
your Xbox. So back into FileZilla I go, and in this box here, I'm just going to type in my IP address. In it goes. Now your username and password are both the same thing. They are Xbox, one word. Okay, and enter port 21, hit quick connect, and that's it. You are into your Xbox. You should see it on the right hand side. Here it is. That's your Xbox. So open up your file structure, navigate to drive E, because that's where all the good stuff is saved. And what you'll be playing in today is the emulation folder. Now you should have that same folder structure if you followed tutorial number one. Um, so links for that will be all over this video and in the comments. So here I'm going to throw in a folder called SNES emulation. You can find this document in the comment section below. I've made this emulator into a zip file for you to download for ease of use. Um, so you're going to need to download that, unzip it, and then just drag the folder into this emulation folder. <coughs> Any other emulators and whatnot, please refer back to xbmc xbox.blogspot.com um, links again will be in so I'm just navigating my way into the ROMs folder um, here Super Nintendo there you go ROMs right ROMs is where you put your game files in now I've got loads of game files saved on my computer um, if you don't just do a Google search for ROMs SNES SNES ROMs and you'll find them so let's go and find some I'll show you how to put games onto your Xbox. So in this folder I have loads of ROMs. So if I take Final Fight and I just drag it with a left button, there you go. Succeeded. Um, I'm going to go and grab Flashback. And okay, that failed. So there's a tab down here. Click that. Um, some files will fail due to their file name. So this one. Uh, it's particularly long uh, what you can do just go into your folder just rename it something short or just like flashback or whatever and then just retry just redrag it over so there's another game that you've got Ghoul Patrol uh, I'm just gonna build up a nice little library of uh, some games I love playing um, let's go down to S and there you go so key games Super Mario All-Star, Super Mario Kart. Um, you've got things like Castlevania and Sunset Riders. Um, so there you go. That should be a nice, easy process. If you didn't get it all, um, just re-watch this video. So back onto the Xbox. And now let's go and test this by going to your emulators folder. Um, you won't have that Final Burn Legends folder on there yet, so just you'll just have the Super Nintendo one. So just click that, and here it is. So all you want to do, just click on your game launcher, okay? And within there, you'll be able to access any of the games you've dragged into your folder successfully. So there you go, there's Final Fight, Ghoul Patrol, Sunset Rider, Super Castlevania, Super Mario All-Stars, and Super Mario Kart. So I will show you that it works by opening up Super Mario Kart. Remember this is me playing a SNES game on the Xbox. There it is. Beautiful job done. Brilliant. That's as far as I will take this. Okay. Just proof that it works. So back onto the PC I go. I'm going to reopen FileZilla. and just connect again so you can just drop that little arrow down and go to uh, just select your Xbox and back into SNES emulation okay there's your ROMs folder now if you want to um, add more things this is all you need to do just reconnect go back into your folder go and grab some more games there you go, I just selected a random few. Drag and drop, and you can see the progress of them down below there with the green bars. That's all good. Now, let's, uh, let's grab another game. Okay, there you go. And let's say you didn't want that game on your Xbox. Let's say you haven't got that much memory, for example. All you need to do is click on it on the right-hand side on your Xbox, 
and hit the delete button on your keyboard and then just press yes and that is it gone off your Xbox so you can just have a clean folder structure with just working games or just games you like so there we go back onto the Xbox I go down to emulators Okay, you can see here, I have added a number of different emulators. Um, now remember to go to xbmcxbox.blogspot.com. There's instructions on that website, tells you uh, where to look on the internet to go and get all sorts of different types of emulators. So this one is a Game Boy Advance one. Um, this is quite a nice emulator. Uh, if you like your Game Boy Advance games, which you should, because it's a fantastic system, um, this is what it looks like. So, there you go, proof of concept. Let's go in and have a look at Super Mario Kart. There you go, beautiful, working like a treat. So, go and have a little look around the internet, look at different Xbox emulators uh, that you can run, and um, You'll, you'll basically quickly build up quite a nice library um, of all your favourite retro games. So remember to keep it locked to TGS, have a little look down our timeline, you'll find loads and loads of tutorials just like this.